Okay, guys. So here is the solution for your question of the day of yesterday. Two five zero three two one. The polynomial brum is exactly divisible by brum brum and brum x minus one, x minus two, and x minus three. Then the value of pq and r are r. It will be lengthy. R. I am not doing it. No, it will be very lengthy. Actually, you will get three equations. You know, right? If you put x equal to one, you will get the expression equal to zero, right or not? By factor theorem or remainder theorem, which one? Comment. Okay. Sure. So, if you put one, one plus p plus q plus r plus six equal to zero. So, star number one that p plus q plus r equal to minus seven. Next line. If you put x equal to two, then you get sixteen plus eight p plus four q plus two r plus six equal to zero, right or not? So take taking this thingy twenty two that side and also two common. So I'll have four p plus 2q plus r equal to minus 11. That's our equation number two. Okay, sure. And when I am putting three, I am getting headache. Right or not? I'm like, chalo 81 plus 27p plus 9q plus 3r plus 6. Equal to zero, so eighty one plus six is eighty seven. Okay, and then taking three common also, so I have star marked nine p plus three q, right or not? Plus r equal to negative three two. Yes or no? Three nine. Sure. Good. Now there are three equations, three variables. Solve them. Okay. So if I'll subtract, this is equation number one, this is equation number two, and this is equation number three. If I subtract equation number two and one, then I'll get three p plus q. Equal to yes or no? Minus eleven plus seven is minus four. Clear? So sure. similarly, if I subtract equation three with two, I'll get five <laughs> p plus q equal to Yes or no? Twenty-nine plus eleven is eighteen with a negative sign. If I further subtract these two equations, I'll get two p equal to yes or no? Minus fourteen. So p equal to minus seven. If I put p equal to minus seven in any of the above equation, I'll get q equal to minus four. Plus twenty-one coming out to be quickly seventeen. Yes or no? Sure. If I put both p and q in any of the equations, say for example equation number one, then I get p, which is yes or no? Minus seven plus q, which is positive seventeen. Plus r equal to minus seven. R equal to negative seventeen. 
just to verify just to verify let's try to put that in third equation or second equation rather 4 into minus 7 plus 2 into 17 plus minus 17 should be minus 11 is it this is minus 28 this is 17 it is coming out to be minus 11 yes verified easy so So this was today's QOD. Your answer for P, Q and R are find the values of P, Q and R minus 7 plus 17 and minus 17. Okay.